Hello and welcome to the next video in this CraftCMS tutorial series. In this video, we're going to make the page titles and meta description tags dynamic for each page. So let's get into it. So here on the home page, we can see the title is just Moda Venture, and it's the same for every other page you're on. So let's make this dynamic. In our main index.twig file, we have the title tag hard coded here. So let's add a better description tag here and let's make these dynamic. So let's create a variable up here and we'll call this page title. And we're going to say that it is equal to page title. This makes sense in a bit. Um, or if it does not exist, we'll give it a default value of let's see here, uh, home. And then let's add a pipe character and then maybe the name of the website. And then down here, let's change this to be a page title. So let's take a look at this. So it is home pipe character and then the name of the website. Because the variable page title doesn't exist yet because we're trying to set it to itself, then it just defaults to this. So let's do one for page description. And this will equal, again, page description or a default value of, we'll just create a default page description for any pages that don't have their own explicit or specific description. So we'll say motorcycle stories, lifestyle, and gear. So let's test this again in the browser. We'll view source. And that's not coming in here because we didn't put it down here. Let's try again. Okay, great. So we have our title and we have our default description coming in here. So let's go to the stories page and you see it still says home. That's because we haven't overridden it on the stories page. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we go to stories index.twig, we can create a new variable here, page title equals entry.title. So if we check this out, we see that it now says tales from the trail because this is our entries title. And how this works is when the index template is looking to set the page title down here, it checks to see if it's set to anything. And because it is set on the actual entry here, it doesn't have to use the default. But on the home page, there is no set. It's not been set yet, so it just uses the default. So that's all we're going to do for the stories detail page. Let's go to the stories entry and let's modify this one. So we'll do the same thing. And actually it looks like our stories entries are not getting that background image. So let's fix that as well. We'll just grab this same content here and paste it in. So we're going to give a class of inner page to story detail pages and then change the page title to the stories title. So if we refresh this, there we go. Summer days in Argentina. And we get that background image now. Let's also create one on the story detail page for descriptions because we specifically have a short description on stories. And I'll just show you this again in the editor. If we go to entries, stories, we have a field down at the bottom, short description. And this is what we use on the stories listing page right here. So when you click into a story and you're on this page, we're going to use that short description for the meta description tag. So that's working fine there. Finally, let's go to the general page template and add it in here. So we'll say set page title equals entry dot title. 
we'll just use the default description for these pages as well. So if we go to our gear, we can see it now says our gear in the title bar. And if we look at the source, it is using the default description because we haven't overridden it. All right, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.